Then tonight, when you think of the Black Lives Matter movement, you may think of demonstrations and protests. Most remain peaceful, but some have turned violent. Now leaders of Buffalo's movement want to change the game. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live in the newsroom to show us how tonight. Liz? Yeah, Jeff. Well, in light of the recent police-related shootings across the country, the Black Lives Movement here in Buffalo says they're looking to take their message to the next level. Their mission has been moving the community one gathering at a time with a nonviolent message that simply reads, Black Lives Matter. And now activists behind the local movement say it's time to formalize this message and unite as a cohesive group. Tonight's senior organizers could Trina Martin Bordeaux and Duncan Kirkwood announced the official launch of the Buffalo chapter, and they say legitimizing their movement with a board of directors and an agenda will help their message reach Albany. We're going to have the type of impact that we want. We're going to need to organize. We're going to need to form leadership. We're going to need to be able to delegate tasks to different individuals so that we can be proactive instead of reactive. We actually have a plan, so it's not just about um, you know, complaining about our issues is that, you know, we have some plans for our issues. We want people to, you know, understand that we are an intellectual group and we feel like we can um, win this fight by using our, our head and our brain rather than our might. And with the first meeting happening this Sunday night at 6 o'clock, the agenda, they say, is already set. Now I spoke to Martin Bordeaux and Kirkwood, and they say on the agenda they plan to discuss big topics like community policing relations and the education crisis here in Buffalo. They also told me that the town of Tonawanda Police has reached out to them and are interested in partnering in support of their mission. Live in the newsroom, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Liz.